Good afternoon, guys and girls. I'm going to show you something today, how to put a prop on a 154-stroke Mercury. This is a 2016, and uh, I think most of them from there on up are the same, so you can check your model and owner's manual, but this is pretty the simplest thing to do on a motor, but I'll show you how to do it anyway. Okay, hang with me. Okay, guys and girls, first thing all you need is a little bit of wheel bearing grease, some good marine grade, it's waterproof. Got a torque wrench there and I got a 1 and 6 16th uh, socket, ratchet, screwdriver, and all your components to put the motor, the prop on there. And uh, you can use anti-seize and uh, a little bit of wheel bearing grease, both. Uh, you can go with a pair of pliers also, but I kind of just use a screwdriver and I'll show you what we're doing with that. So just stick with me here. Okay, folks, first thing we do, put a little bit of wheel bearing grease on here. Preferably the, you can find some marine grade. All the auto parts sell them, Walmart, all these places. You can put this shaft up next, especially up next to the edge right here. Or this, this brass bushing right here. That will go up on there, so you don't want it to stick inside here on that shaft. Because if you ever have to get it off, it'd be a booger if you can get him loose so so then you put that on your, you slide that on your shaft I've got a little grease around it here I've already applied anti-seize cleaned that really good okay I don't know if you can see it there or not a little bit of the anti-seize is seeping out around it there but I've done applied anti-seize to the threads and some stuff there so anyway once you get that on there next thing is you take your hub That's this center part here on your prop. This piece right here. And it goes on the open end of your prop. Okay, down in that hole. Okay. And then you have a center hub. That's this part. And you see the flanges on it. The the ends, the little the little tabs that stick out on it there. That goes on the back end of your prop. The part that you would be looking at when it's hooked onto the motor. And it will go in this end of the prop. If you see the little shiny notches there, that's where those tabs have to line up with. So what you do, you put it in there. And make sure that it lines up with those tabs and goes fully seated in there. Okay, now your other bushing that you put in the other end slides inside that and stays in it. Then what you do after that, the next step is to slide it on this shaft real easy. Okay, you hold both hubs with your fingers. Make sure that it goes in there where it's supposed to. Okay. So you got that part done. So the next step is you have this little locking ring here. It's a little thin piece of metal. These little tabs you see on each side here. Right there, and one over here. They line up on that bushing that you shoved in that hub there. If you can see that. So that goes in here. And this slides in here on this. Okay? And they line up on them notches. You see both of those notches there. Okay. So once you get them lined up in there, you make sure they're on there like that. And that's when you put your nut on it. Okay. So you got a locking nut here. It has a nylon insert in it. It goes on next. So, once it gets on there, then you tighten her up, okay? Get your ratchet that you had, your 1 and 1 16th inch socket. And it's quite a long shaft there, so that nylon insert gets stuck in there good and tight. So, it's a good bit of cranking here. Five or six full turns, I think, <clears throat> until it seats itself. 
the felt when it gets tight. Like there, you can't it won't, you can't hold it. So then, take the torque wrench. You got a torque wrench. Okay, you can get them at any automotive place and a lot of tool places. You don't have to use a torque wrench, but it's always nice to go with the manufacturer specs, which on this particular prop is 55 foot pounds to the inch, or foot pounds of pressure. Now what I do, you can't hold the prop, so what I do, I turn it, get like a four before piece of wood in here, and you can turn it where the prop gets lined up, and it'll hold it in place in for you. Okay. Then you can just tighten that nut. Not the easiest thing to hold, but you hear it click? That is a torque wrench. That tells you that you're at 55 foot pounds. Right there, see? So you don't want to tighten it no more, no less. So the next thing, and the last thing you would do. And here at these little tabs, you get to the flat side of the nut there, and you bend these little tabs up on there, on both sides. There's two of them. You bend them up against that nut, that way it locks it so it doesn't allow that nut to back back off of there. And these little tabs right here on each side, they hold that little ring in place so they can't move. So once you do that, and you, you can put a screwdriver in here like this and pry on them. Bend them up against the, the nut there, or you can get a pair of pliers in there and do it. But either way, it's uh, not coming off of there. So that's how you install a prop on a Mercury 154 stroke. Pretty simple.